Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Shooter 94 here. Another WCW Monday Nitro is upon us. First things first, I do want to say thank you so much to everybody who made Fall Brawl a huge success. Uh, within three days, four days, we had over 100 views. You guys dropped 10 likes on it, so you guys definitely liked the show. So thank you so much for that. We're going to keep the momentum going as we head towards Halloween Havoc. One of the big pay-per-views in our company. Uh, for our Nitro this evening, we are in front of 7,600 people. Uh, we're just starting the show with a quick little recap of Fall Brawl. Um, featuring all the guys who were in big matches. So, uh, just to give you a rundown. So, we had in the tag team turmoil, the Steiner brothers retained. As the Dudley boys put on one amazing performance, but did come up slightly short um, against the Steiners. Uh, Mark Jindrak retained his television championship one last time. The U.S. championship came to a double draw as both men did not reach the 10 count after a huge suplex through the announced table. Uh, in our main event, Abyss retained the WCW championship. Uh, we had uh, Rey Mysterio and Kevin Nash. Kevin Nash got the victory over Ray Ray um, at the pay-per-view as well. Plenty more to unpack, but we're going to start with that as we get into our show. 69 rating on the video recap. And our opening segment of the evening has Abyss and James Mitchell in the ring. As James Mitchell says, his monster has yet to be beaten as WCW champion. He is the most dominant force in professional wrestling, and no one can step up to him and take this championship from us. 50 rating for Mr. Mitchell. He gets interrupted by Rob Van Dam, who says, um, Last night, I'll give Abyss credit where credit's due. He did hold on to that championship against myself and Booker T, but no shadow of a doubt. All I need to do, if Abyss beats me 9 out of 10 times, all I need is that one time, and Rob Van Dam will be your WCW champion. 70 rating on that. And he gets interrupted by, no, well, shocker here, Booker T interrupts and says the only reason why the Booker T is not the WCW champion is because of that sucker RVD. He had a biz beat and RVD had to get himself into business where he didn't belong and screw him out of his WCW championship. And then Ken Shamrock comes out and says, you know what, you two guys have already had your championship matches, but I got something that Abyss has not faced yet. I'm undefeated as well here in World Championship Wrestling, and I'm the world's most dangerous man. So what about it, monster? Let's see if this monster can be slain by the world's most dangerous man. 74 promo on uh, Shamrock. And then Ke Chris Canyon also comes out and says, Whoa, 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 hold on. I, I won last night. I beat the Icon Sting uh, in an Iron Man match. I want my shot at the WCW Championship. I've never had an opportunity, and I want my shot at Abyss. And then General Manager Paul Heyman comes out and announces two major major main events. First of all, next week will be a fatal four-way between Rob Van Dam, Chris Canyon, Ken Shamrock, and Booker T. And the winner of that fatal four-way will challenge the monster Abyss at Halloween Havoc. Also, tonight will be a main event of tag team action. As you will see Rob Van Dam teaming up with Chris Canyon to face out the world's most dangerous man Ken Shamrock and Booker T in our main event of the evening. All four guys are obviously pleased with the opportunity for next week. Mitchell seems kind of weary. Um, and Abyss is a monster with a mask on so he doesn't have any emotions. But a lot of, I know we had a kind of an opening promo here where it was very formulaic and very WWE style. But I'm trying to... To change it up every week to make it seem different uh, but this was the most natural course um, since we have so much time I think we have six weeks until Halloween Havoc I needed to have a good story going into the shows plus to keep Nitro obviously as hot as it is in our opening contest of the evening in a decent match America's most wanted defeats Shane Douglas and Bam Bam Bigelow in eight minutes when Chris Harris pins Bam Bam Bigelow after a cake catatonic shane douglas carried the match bam bam a 49 shane a 62 james storm a 45 chris harris a 48 
Shane and Bam Bam Storm has advanced. Shane Douglas is off his game. James Storm had a hot new move. 53 rating on the tag team contest. Post-match, Shane Douglas and Bam Bam Bigelow are arguing in the ring. As from behind, Steve Carino sneaks through the, the fans and hits a low blow on Bam Bam Bigelow. Which then him and Shane Douglas start to beat down on Bam Bam Bigelow. Um, and then Shane directs Steve Carino to grab a chair and place it under Bam Bam Bigelow's head. And then hits him with a wicked concerto. Um, it looks like Steve Carino is joining up with Shane Douglas. And Shane Douglas has decided to cut bait with Bam Bam Bigelow. Um, this is multiple things happening here. So I'm just going to kind of give you a little peek behind the curtain on what's going on. So... Bam Bam Bigelow got caught three times in a row uh, with uh, substances that I, I don't exactly know what they were, but you know, you kind of get the drift here, and failed drug tests, so he is being written off TV, um, and we are letting his contract ride out to let him go. Steve Carino is jumping in here to join up with Shane Douglas. Um, Steve Carino, you might remember, the king of old school, said he's been coming for a couple weeks to WCW, and he's arrived, and has aligned himself with Shane Douglas to get him over. Um, to the audience and without exposing him. So, win-win scenario, I think, in all accounts. And we move on from a former top tag team here in WCW. So, 46 rating on that. In a decent match, Billy Kidman defeats Kaz Hayashi in 8-10 by pinfall after using a foreign object. Kaz Hayashi is 75, Kidman a 49, the announcing quality to the match in a 64 segment. Uh, wanted to have an upset victory here. Uh, wanted Kidman to cheat to win. See if we could get him off of the, the icicle that he's on here. And Kaz Hayashi, I am trying to... I'm, I'm really trying to find new stuff for him. But I have hit the wall with Kaz Hayashi. So if you guys have any plans or ideas, please drop them in the comments. Um, I would love to hear some thoughts. Um, I feel like I've done just about everything I can with Kaz. Minus him being just a mid-card act. Uh, Kidman, I actually have an idea. Um, I, I originally thought he was going to be cut bait, but he, there is an idea that I have and I'm not sure when or how I get to it, but I think it'll be interesting. 64 rating on this match. And we get a, um, the announcers put over the fact that our main event this evening will be RVD and Chris Canyon facing off against Ken Shamrock and Booker T. 70 rating from the announcers. Good job, Tanae. Good job. And in a decent match, Martin Drac defeats Frankie Gazarian in 721 by a pinfall with a mark of excellence. Martin Drac is 63, Frankie Gazarian a 54. The TV title star has advanced, and the announcing quality lifted the match. 58 rating on the match. Good stuff here. Jindrak gets another win. Gazarian does take a loss here, but he's featured on TV, which is a win-win scenario. Post-match, Jindrak grabs a microphone. Oh, good promo. Okay. And says he is refusing to defend the television championship until Halloween Havoc because he wants a real opponent at Halloween Havoc. He doesn't want to keep uh, facing guys that he's already beaten. He wants someone that is special to face him at Halloween Havoc for the television championship. This has already been decided on who this is, by the way. And I don't want to spoil it, but I think it'll be pretty awesome on who it's going to be. 74 rating on this promo from Mr. Jindrak. Thank you, sir. Uh, backstage, we have the Steiner brothers cutting a promo talking about how they've retained their WCW Tag Team Championships. Um, the Dudley boys do walk up, though, and say that, you know, the only reason why you guys retained the tag titles was because you were the last team out. We dominated that tag team turmoil. On any given night, when we're both not tired and exhausted, we could put on one hell of a match and see who the better team truly is. Steiner brothers nod, they, they give handshakes to each other, and there's a respect uh, between the four men. 69 rating there. Just a little foreshadow potentially coming our way there. And in about to have great heat and good wrestling, the Dynasty defeats the Dudley boys in 10 minutes when Jeff Jarrett pins Devon with a handful of tights. BG James was the weak link, struggling to keep up with everybody else. BG of 54, Jeff is 68, Bubba is 75, Devon is 64, Storyline has advanced. Dudley's have excellent chemistry, and the match got the crowd hotter. 66 rating here. Uh, the Dynasty is now fully back in the fold, and the Dudley's taken an L here. Um, but due to some some handful of tights action, uh, you know, Jeff Jarrett is, you know, a very good wrestler in the wrestling world here. So if he beats a tag team, 
team or tag team wrestler. It's not the end of the world. Um, but I wanted to show the Dudleys are capable of losing. Um, and wanted to put the Dynasty in a better spot, which I think I did here. Um, the tag team title storyline is going to get interesting, and I hope you guys like where we go, especially going into Starcade. Post match, the Dynasty are celebrating that they stole this victory from the Dudleys, or this, the Dudleys are clearly upset in the ring. 66 rating on that. Uh, Kevin Nash cuts an M Ring promo saying that he is done with Rey Mysterio and is moving on to his next target. And he's not going to say who that target is, but he has found him and he is going to wait until the right moment to strike. 68 rating out of Nash. Wow. And about the head superb wrestling and great heat, we do a rematch of, I believe it was last week, where Rey Mysterio defeats Jamie Noble in 1241 by pinfall with a springboard Hurricane Rana. 92 out of Ray, 72 out of Noble. Says the matches are better color commentary. The match got the crowd hotter. 80 rating on the match. Wow. Both men killed it here. This is why I really want to do more stuff with Noble because he can do this type of match. And Ray Mysterio is just Ray Mysterio. You you know what you're getting there. Um, wow, great stuff. But post match, now Nash was on commentary and he hits the ring and hits a jackknife on Mysterio, which is odd. Considering he just said he was done with Mysterio, so it looks like he's not. Um, and it looks like we might be getting the final showdown between these guys coming soon. But, I mean, Nash made it very clear that he was done with Mysterio and then attacks him from behind here and hits the jackknife on him. A little, a little confusing, but I guess Kevin Nash will have to answer those situations next week because uh, he clearly said he was done. 72 rating on that segment. Uh, and we get a graphic that says Mike Awesome will be here next week to discuss the U.S. title situation. Uh, so remember at Fall Brawl, it was a double countout after him and Rhino both um, went through the announce table and neither man got into the ring before 10 count. And when that happens, the championship does not change hands. 69 rating out of that. And about the head good heat and subpar wrestling, Chavo Guerrero Jr. defeats Diamond Dallas Page in 553 with a gory bomb after interference from Brian Clark. 46 on the Emory performance from Page, 49 out of Chavo. DDP and Dustin Roadstone has advanced, and the announcing quality has lifted the match with a 50 rating. Slightly disappointing here, but this is this is all story. This is fine. Trying to make my roster more balanced and more organized. Um, good stuff here. Chavo gets a much-needed win over a very aging Diamond Dallas Page. Uh, yes, continue. Uh, we get a promo backstage as RVD and Chris Canyon are saying that tonight we'll be on the same page. I know we have our pasts, and that's fine. But tonight, we need to be on the same page, or Booker T and Shamrock are going to make us look like fools out there. There are no slouches. You know, Booker T is a former world champion. Shamrock's undefeated. Um, you know, next week, all hands are off, or all bets are off, you know, whoever wins, wins, but tonight, we need to be on the same page. 68 rating on RVD and Canyon. Uh, James Mitchell and Abyss come down as Mitchell sits on commentary as he puts his monster right next to him at the commentary booth. Which kind of looks weird, but that's what we're doing. 49 rating on that. And in our main event of the evening... And about to have fantastic heat and good wrestling. Rob Van Dam and Chris Canyon defeat Booker T and Ken Shamrock in 1304 when RVD pins Ken Shamrock with a five star frog splash. In terms of in ring work, RVD was head and shoulders above everybody else. We have Ken Shamrock with a 59, Booker a 71, Canyon a 66, RVD an 86. Storylines have advanced and gained heat. Booker and Canyon were off their games, and Charmel did good work at ringside. 78 overall on the segment. Now, Shamrock got pinned after getting hit with a flatliner by Canyon and a five-star from RVD. Um, and it's a tag team match, so yeah, he got pinned, but we're not going to count it as his first singles loss. 78 rating on our main event. And the baby faces stand tall to end the show. And remember, next week in the big Fatal 4-Way, RVD and Canyon now have momentum going into that huge Fatal 4-Way next week. RVD came out looking good in this, and the storylines both advanced. 71 rating on this segment to end the show. Let's see what we get for an overall rating on our Monday Nitro. We got a 76, which is awesome. We increased our popularity in 16 regions. Um, we would have gained popularity, but you know what? We're doing great. Ever since we moved over to MTV and got away from the USA Network, we've been crushing it with... Um, 
viewership and just every show our popularity is increasing and we're on our way to get into that big level no longer medium we're so close um to be really a powerhouse here in uh this save and overall in the wrestling world in the game so we're gonna leave it there i want to say thank you to everybody who came by for this episode i want to say thank you to everybody who crushed it with fall brawl thank you to everybody who's making the mlb the show videos go so well just thank you to everybody who's supporting the channel and the community and we'll see you next week Sunday night, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for your next WCW Monday Nitro.